Hey, welcome back to another Type 5 How To. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to take a 4K HDMI signal over a long distance. So in my case here, I have a computer set up that I want to display uh, some presentations and words on the screen. Normally for HDMI cables, you only want to run them if they're 50 feet or less. Over 50 feet, you can start having some issues. Now for my run here, I have to go up this back wall, through the ceiling, over and down to that 100 inch Hisense TV. So I want to be able to get that signal cleanly over there uh, and the run is going to be way over 50 feet here by the time I'm done with it. So instead we're doing this over Ethernet. Uh, so I picked up here an HD base uh, T Ethernet uh, to HDMI adapter uh, by Ori. Okay, so here's the, the model number that I'm using. This one's rated up to 4K 60, um, up to, in this case, 400 feet for 4K, 492 for 1080p. Now, part of the reason why I picked this one up uh, instead of some other cheaper models out there, um, mainly you'll notice that there's only one power supply uh, because most of these adapters need power for both the transmitter and the receiver. This one, I only need to power one of these units and then it'll use the ethernet cable to transmit power to the other. So if you're dealing with um, a permanent installation and it's hard to run a second power source up to your projector or TV that's already mounted, this is a great solution for you. You don't need power on both ends. I can use power down here at the booth and transmit the signal up there. Now I've already run Cat6 cable all the way up to the back of the TV. So we're going to use this sending unit here and we'll plug, plug the, the power supply in uh, as well as the, the ethernet cable into the back of this. There is an HDMI in and you want to make sure that you're using a high quality HDMI cable that can do 4K signal. Uh, the transmitter also has a separate HDMI out. So if I'm going over a really long distance and it's hard for me to see what's on the screen that I'm transmitting to, I can HDMI out to a second monitor that will mirror uh, what the transmission is seeing here. Uh, we also have infrared in and infrared out and some more advanced transmission controls here as well. Uh, the box does come with an infrared transmitter uh, and receiver, uh, as well as some mounting plates uh, for the back if you need to mount this on the wall up there. Uh, and then the receiver side, again, has the ethernet connection uh, coming into it and then HDMI that will go out to the TV. Uh, we can go separate audio out as well and it has the uh, infrared in and out there. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug the uh, transmitter here into the HDMI out directly from the video card on my computer and then plug the, that, HD, or that ethernet cable in and then we'll get to the back of the TV. We'll plug that ethernet cable into the receiver and then jump HDMI in and we'll do a couple tests and hopefully we can see that we're getting a solid 4K signal uh, with all of those uh, properties that we're looking for. So let's get this all set up. All right, so we got everything plugged in and turned on and it is literally plug and play. Uh, just to so show you what we got working here, here is our 100 inch uh, TV. We have HDR support enabled. If I go to advanced display settings, we can see we're running in 4K 60 high dynamic range. That's what we want. Of course, I can come over here and verify this on the computer or well on the TV as well. Let me go to my menu here. I can see under my picture modes, uh, it is showing HDR, uh, HDR picture modes. So uh, if you're looking to uh, transmit a 4K uh, HDR signal over a long uh, distance, I'd really recommend this Ori uh, HDMI to Ethernet adapter. Uh, it's done a pretty solid job here. I'll also leave links in the description below 
to HDMI cables that will work as well. It's really important the type of HDMI cable that you're using uh, to make sure that you get all of the features enabled uh, along with these devices. So if you learned anything, feel free to give this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more helpful tips and tricks uh, in the future. But that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully I'll see you all on the next one.